In this video, I want to kind of explain what insurance is and why it exists, why it's a good idea to have. Um, but rather than talk about, you know, big companies and stuff like that, let's keep it really local and see if we can get to the heart of what insurance is and why it's an important thing to have. All right. So we're going to start out with here's me and here's my furnace. So my furnace keeps me warm in the winter unless it breaks down. Now there's some good news and some bad news about my furnace breaking down. The bad news is that if it broke down, let's say it would cost me a thousand dollars to fix it or to get it replaced. And there is no way I could budget for that. Um, you know, that's just horrifically expensive. The good news is that that probably isn't going to happen, but you never know. And so that's the kind of that's the kind of financial risk that I live with as being somebody who owns a furnace. All right. So that's a problem. All right. And here are 10 people who all own furnaces, me and nine of my neighbors. We all have furnaces and we all have the same problem that our furnace is breaking down would be a major disaster for us. Probably not going to happen, but it's something that's so expensive that we couldn't possibly budget for it. So what can we do to fix this problem, given that there are a whole bunch of us that have the same problem? All right, and here's what we do. So we all All 10 of us put $100 into a pot. All right. And when all 10 of us put $100 into a pot, we have $1,000 in the pot. So we have enough money here to cover a furnace breaking down. And that way, we're all protected against that. All right, so this $100 that we all put in is called a premium. So this is money that we're putting into a pot, whether or not our furnace breaks down, just so that in case our furnace breaks down, we could take that money out. All right, and so let's say that next winter comes around and Marcus over here, his furnace breaks down. So that $1,000 goes to him to get his furnace replaced. And Marcus has filed what we call a claim. So he said, you know what? That's what this $1,000 was for, was it was for breaking, it was for repairing broken furnaces. And so I'm gonna take that $1,000 and get my furnace fixed. All right, and now we've got these 10 people and I've got their eyes put in, but I don't have their faces. How happy are people with the way this situation has worked out. Well, nine of us didn't have our furnaces break down last year. And so we're pretty happy about that. And Marcus over here is happy because his furnace broke down, but he was able to pay for it. Okay, so nine of us paid for something that didn't happen. And the 10th of us had a bad thing happen, but he got it covered. But the good news is that we all pooled our risk. We took something that was pretty unlikely to happen and that we couldn't afford, but the 10 of us put together could afford it. And so since we all paid for something that only Marcus needed to take advantage of, that meant that we all had protection against our furnace breaking down, um, whether or not it happened. Now, real insurance happens on bigger than 10 people. You've got really a million people or 100 million people all putting money into a pool, betting that they're not going to get into a car accident or um, oh, I don't know what else do people get insurance for, uh, that a tornado isn't going to hit their house or that they're not going to become disabled and be unable to work for the rest of their lives. Or in some cases, people get life insurance, betting that they're not going to die and that they're not going to be collecting an income that their family is going to need to survive. And enough people put money into that pot that the few people who 
do have those emergency happen are able to have those emergencies covered. Okay, so that's the basic idea behind insurance. It's why we pay premiums. Premiums exist so that the few people who make claims have a source of money to get their, to get their claims covered. There are a lot more details when we talk about insurance, but I just wanted to start off with those key basic fundamental ideas.